as it lowers its belly onto the ground and pulls on its rope, picks it up and drives forward, and then lowers again, pulls on the rope, picks it up and drives forward, and by doing this over and over, it's able to move that giant weight a long distance. If you were to look at the bottom of the robot under a microscope, you'd see a bunch of tiny, tiny little rubber hairs. As you pull on them, they stick to a surface, and as you let go of that pulling, they pop right back off. Zooming out, you can see that all these little tiny rubber hairs are on the bottom layer of the robot. Now let's look at all the pieces of the robot that allow us to decide when we want to stick to the ground and when we want to walk around. You can see it includes a battery pack on top, a brain, and a winch and spool that can reel in the weight. That microscopic gecko tape belly. And finally a rope that can be attached to whatever the robot wants to pull.